guys welcome back to my java tutorials and uh, last two tutorial about access modifiers so far we have seen what is the private public and default access modifiers in this video i will cover about what is protected access modifier this protected access modifier also similar to the default one but it can be extend to the other package through inheritance concept just for demonstration purpose, I have used all these methods in the previous videos. Protected Y method for system.out.println. This is protected method. So method 4 is protected method. Let's try to access that one in the same class. obj1. method. that can be accessed in the same class and also in the same package right let's do that one method 4 and try to run it yes perfect so so far it's pretty straightforward here we have seen accessing inside the same class and inside the same package and the next important thing is you have to understand how to use another package using inheritance to check that one i have created one more package and class let's see how it works here method 4 anyway it shows error only just to want to show you what is the error i'm just typing here method 4 has a protected access so we, you cannot access this one this is anyway public method that's why we are accessing here other than that nothing is accessed to the other package let's extend the class extends student class this is about inheritance once you extend that class what you have to do you have to create object reference for the present class means the class which you are doing student s equal to new student check to Let's change the reference name here to reduce the confusion and error. Now you don't have any problem. S2 dot method 3 and 4. Method 3 is public and method 4 is protected one. Now you got it now. Save the code and run. Anyway, nothing is there to see in the final output. But just for understanding, I am executing the program. The first one is public and the next one is protected method. This is the topic about inheritance. In inheritance, we already know like we need to use the access keyword. That's all guys. This is all about access modifiers. I hope you understand the concept very well and enjoying watching my videos. See you in the next video. Stay tuned and happy learning.